Hey guys, this is Strife, and today I'm going to show you the intro to Armored Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. So, I have already started this game, and I have been playing for a few hours now, and I have to say I quite enjoy it. The nice thing about this is I can show you the intro without actually having to start brand new. And I'll show you what I mean. So, if I go to Sortie down here, it gives us the option to replay missions. And this is the first one, Illegal Entry. Whenever you start this, it shows you your Armored Core or your AC over on the right here. And with this one, it's very it just starts with the intro AC. So that's what I mean by I don't have to start brand new for you guys to see what the intro looks like or to get an idea of what to expect when going into this. So we'll go ahead and get into it. I want to point out this game loads very quickly too. Then again, I have an SSD I use for it, but still, it would be quick without it. We're close to Rubicon. Wake the dog up. Handler Walter verified. Activating cerebral coral control device. Augmented human. C4621 has awakened. Time to get to work, 621. I'm powering down your entry capsule on my signal. As you can see, this game looks really nice. I don't have a lot of experience with Armored Core, but I did play the third one, Masters of Arena, for quite a while when I was younger. And I really, really loved it. I think what Descent interested me ISP was that this was... Uh, I, I like the Gundam series a lot, so that's kind of what made me want to play it to begin with. Off target, but with impermissible range. There's a catapult ahead. Use it to close the gap. Main system, activating combat mode. And if you are familiar with the Armored Core series, you are... I can say that you're gonna like this one. The controls are nice and smooth. Combat's engaging. Lock on. Oh, I didn't get all of them. Yes, so repair kits. I don't remember if they were in the other game that I played, but we do have three. So far I haven't found a way to increase them. But one may exist.
when I have all of the equipment, one thing I do plan on doing is I plan on making it easier and saving it. The movie edition. Of course. The Time to fly, 621. If we get our hands on Rubicon's coral, we'll make a killing. Plenty for a merc with a fried brain like you to buy their life back. After we're done with this intro mission, I'll go into the uh, details of the hub a little bit more. Quick boost, yeah, it's our dodge. I think we do that before. No, I missed. Just kidding. Assault boost. As you can see, the little boost meter is there on the bottom. And if we run out of that, then we gotta land in order to get that back up. So far from what I've seen, the sword is still my favorite weapon. Which, I did see a clip. Somebody else was playing this, and I did see that the Moonlight Greatsword is once again in another FromSoft game. This one here too, so I'm looking forward to getting that. And yes, it does shoot out blades from it. I'm very interested in getting that. I feel like it's gonna be pretty overpowered. What? It's the PCA's planet side force. Keep a low profile. We don't want them breathing down our necks. Yeah, well. Oh, there we go. Target to go. Stop fucking Schneider on the boot. Core base B. Wait, is that an independent? Destroy it! We're outnumbered six to one. Use your missiles. Yeah, well... I know I want you to focus on like the multi-target lock-on with missiles, but I'm actually not too big of a fan of using um, missiles with multi-target. It's still valid, but the pilot's rank is no good. We can't use this. I've picked up one more wreck since two months. Transmitting marker. Go and check it out.
And you don't have unlimited ammo either. Like, if you look at the bottom right of the screen, you'll see where it shows those four little bars. The one up top is the one that you have in your current clip or mag, and the one on bottom is your total ammo. But during really long missions, you do get the opportunity to resupply. This is not one of those really long missions. We're actually at the tutorial boss now. That's it. Try accessing the mag. Repair kits remaining. Registration number RB23. Rank fits the bill. Call sign. Mm, there he is. What? Looks like they were on to you after all. Now we have to pick a fight with the PCA. But it doesn't matter. Take it out now and they won't have enough to ID you. Point out something too. The uh, multi-target lock-on for missiles, it's only necessary if you have multiple targets. In this case, since it's just one dude, I'm good to just attack it. You may notice that yellow bar up there. It's kind of, think of it kind of like the um, tension bar from Sekiro. It acts in a similar manner here and allows an opening once it's up to red like this. And in this situation, it really is best to make sure that you have weapons to attack with. When, once that bar gets full. Otherwise, you'll just be sitting there, you'll just be sitting there, and then they'll recover and you'll miss your opportunity. Yeah, there we go. Not too shabby. First time I went through this, I tried to be a little more cautious, but the best approach for him really is to be aggressive. Heavy I was also trying to get that stagger bar up too for our work here today, before I went in for the sword attack. Here's the call nah, sign for don't that do that. You up. Raven, that's what we wanted. Yeah. Raven. That's your new name here on Rubicon. I like it. After all, that's still just an A. That's alright. Highest rank you can get is S, of course. Alright. Now, I'm going to go through the uh, menus a little bit, just to show you what you can do here. So, AC design. That's how you can design your AC unit, of course. So, the point shop, or the part shop eventually unlocks. You can get different weapons. You can also get, let's see, you can also get different parts for your AC. They all do different things here. Really the best thing to make sure that um, you're good on is the EN load. And to make sure that your total load doesn't get past this bar here to where you see you're overburdened there. Otherwise, it makes it so that you can't launch. Unless you get a special module that you'll later on be able to get once the arena gets unlocked. And in that situation, you can actually launch when you're overburdened. And you can take off pieces of equipment in order to lighten your load. Um, so far, I haven't bothered doing that. You also have different... Um, like different pieces of software that help with the close range, medium, and long range weapons that you have. Um, you also have generators, of course this is going to be for EN output. And then later on you get these expansion slots, which in this case the uh, terminal armor is something that I have on now. You could think of it as um, 
was I, I'm not sure if it's like once more or second chance from Kingdom Hearts, but whichever one allows you to survive an attack that with one HP, that's basically what this terminal armor does. Pretty helpful in a pinch, but most of the time if you get down to that point, it's gonna, yeah, you're just gonna be done. Um, as far as weapons go, we have rifles, we have shotguns, we have bazookas, we have energy weapons as well. Um, there is like little machine guns too, which really helpful if you want to do like a dual dual wielding build or if you want to have like a just a lightweight build in general. And of course we have the different swords here. We can also do different bazookas. Um, once again, once you get the arena unlocked, you can get something or like a little chip that allows you to do a wep weapon swap so that you can have backup weapons for um, whenever you go in there. Sometimes I like to do this. I, I found that it can be useful against certain enemies that need have a lot of armor, for instance, and then I'll just pack like four bazookas and go at it. It's, it's pretty nice, the amount of customization that you can do. Um, speaking of customization, we have paint. You can do paint for just about every piece on your AC. Um, there's also color sets that they already have in here. Oh, kind of like an Iron Man color set. I think that's exactly what they're aiming for. Um, you can also save your own. In my case, I kind of just like to do with a black thing and go with either purple or red. In this case, I think it looks slick. I'm waiting until I get certain armor pieces so that I can switch those out and then actually do like different Gundam builds. And yeah, you can go into even just changing the weathering on your gear. You can change the finish of the um, of your AC as well. Of course, you can't really see that because it's on the other section. Let's see, like this. Okay. See? You do like just a flat one, which I'll probably use that later on. You can also add decals if you would like. There's a bunch of different ones here. There's a bunch of decals that you can unlock by defeating enemies um, in the arena or by doing certain story mode missions. There is also a downloaded section, which I imagine that means that you can just do other ones that have been uploaded and just download them from the database, but I haven't done that as of yet. I don't know if I'm going to. I think I'm just gonna make my own, just do my my logo thing. Um, and then yeah, we do have different different customizations that you can save and this this one here that I have this is for a uh, hover armor and heavy heavy bazooka rounds as you just like I said where I just put four bazookas on it's exactly what this is for where there is one enemy that that comes in handy that you come across fairly early and this is the OS tuning these are all the different chips that you could get you just need to get these little OST chips which you unlock doing the arena you have a bunch of different enemies you can fight in the arena um, and at one at each time there as you can see there's these little ranks up here this uh, 29f 23e so currently that's what my rank is because I def since I defeated um, Swinburne here I became 23rd rank at the end of the E. So once I get a little bit further on in my mission, I will be able to unlock the um, D rank enemies to fight, and that's how I'll get to that point. With any of you guys familiar with um, Armored Core and the later ones, I believe um, Master of Arena had 
the main arena and then that was part of the story that you had to go through. And then there was a second disc, disc which just um, went through a EX arena. I did a lot of that and th that EX arena is no joke. It was a lot of fun too. I think I actually did a uh, Wing Zero build in that one too. Um, and then we have the sorties, which is all the missions. We have the test, which I, that's just to test your AC. Um, training missions, they, these are all the training missions. So there's not really a lot. It basically you just run through like the set of halls doing different things that it wants you to do with different equipment. Um, and as we just did the replay mission, I haven't done all of them in replay yet. I did really bad on this one. This one was rough, though. And you may notice something here that says under the reward battle log. That's something that if you get enough of these battle logs by doing these replay missions, you can unlock um, special pieces of equipment too. You don't have to purchase them from the parts shop either. And did I ever go through the parts shop? Yeah. Okay, so these are all the different parts that you can get, different thrusters, just everything. I, see the chain gun there? I can already see myself doing a heavy arms. Yeah, I can do a heavy arms Gundam build too, which I'm definitely gonna, once I get the right pieces. So far, like, I do, I'm not sure if there is, like, any multiplayer or online arena or anything. It looks like there's another spot here in between Arena and Sordia, which maybe can unlock that later. I'm not really sure, but it'd be cool if you could. Anyway, um, I think that's about it, and if you guys would like to see anything more in terms of this, or if you wanted just me to go through and do videos on just a straight playthrough, I could start a brand new one. And, more than happy to do that. Just let me know in the comments. Um, like, subscribe if you're not subscribed already, and I will catch you guys later. Bye for now.